She can take it. Study. Hard. Because she's not been studying? No. She says she's studying, but she's not, huh? Right. Mm, okay. Very good. Understood. And what about becoming a doctor futuristically? Is that one of those things that she's going to have to study, 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 study hard for as well? Yes, but she can do it. Do you foresee her becoming a doctor? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. The vibration on this planet is really raising, isn't it? Yes. Her inner genius is going to come forward, isn't it? Yes. Ah, oh, very good. And her sons as well. And what about the one son that will stay behind? Is he going to ascend with the vibration of the planet? Or is he going to go to another planet and continue on uh, in his 3D life? No, he's not going to leave his mommies behind. He's, he said it again? No, he won't leave his mother behind. Oh, very good. When, uh, after the age of 70, uh, the planet should be pretty different by, the, by that time, huh? Yes. And will there be extraterrestrials on the planet at that time? Yes. There are extraterrestrials on the planet now, isn't there? Yes. Is she connected to the extraterrestrials at all in any way? Yes. And how would she be connected with the extraterrestrials? The energy you have in her body. Ah, oh, very good. And uh, that energy, is it from any particular uh, race or species of extraterrestrial that's very popular in today's culture? or? Alternative culture, rather? No. Hers is special. Ah, oh, very good. And is she connected to the Aeon? No. More connected to God. Ah, oh, very good. Very, very good. And, uh... She said she was familiar with me, but she wouldn't say why. Why not? Don't know. You don't know. After you finish with this particular life, are you going to come back to the earth again? Yes. Oh, very good. Very, very good. And will, will she come back in the male or female, or will she come back by the time the planet gets to where we can come back in our light bodies? Light body. That's the next time when she comes to the planet, she'll come in her light body? Yes. Very, very good. And will she obtain a light body in on the planet before she passes at age 70? Will she know how to maneuver in her light body? She already do. Ah, she does already. Very good. And she's doing that in her dream state? Both. And she's doing it consciously? Yes. Very good. Is she aware of when she's doing it consciously? Or is it one of those subconscious things where she's innately doing it? She's not aware of it at all. No, she's not. Very good. And we're going to come back to that subject matter, but you wanted to know, why did your eight-year-old, why did our eight-year-old niece accuse one of um, her sons for touching her? Did they touch her? No. Why would she accuse them of that? Who put, did someone put her up to it? It's not her, it's them. What do you mean it's them? Somebody's coaching her to say that. Ah, oh, very good. And who's coaching, and who would that be? Please. The supervisor from CPS. Ah, oh, very good. And will that come to the light and they be handled properly? Mm 
Yes. Can the higher self of the of your niece and of the uh, the higher your the higher self of that the coach the one who's doing it can they come forward now so you can talk to them? Can she ask them forward? Not answering? No. What kind of looks you have on her face? Like a dull look. Oh, okay. So your sons are going to be uh, exonerated, correct? The truth will come out, will it not? Yes. Very good. And will it come out in a way where it's in everyone's best interest so no one is harmed? Yes. Oh, very good. And will that happen pretty quickly then? Yes. Now today she has to go to court and she's wondering how it's going to turn out. I don't know what's happening in court, but she would like to know how it's going to turn out. Will it turn out in her favor? Yes. Oh, very good. So will all of her guardians and her angels be there to bring as much love and light to the scenario as can possibly be? Yes. So should this give her faith? Yes. Okay. And um, all of the questions that you had have all been answered and you're really grateful, extremely, extremely grateful for the information that you've been given. And uh, normally in these scenarios, uh, Hank would like to ask questions and, and maybe his guides can come forward and we can ask questions about us together. Is that possible? Yes. Very good. And uh, my guardians are actually already there. I want you to just go ahead and look over your shoulder and, uh, and tell me if you see them there. Or just ask them to come forward. They tend to come forward. Please. Please. Generally, there's two of them, but there may be one. Has anyone come forward at all? Very good. And uh, go ahead and describe them then. One is a woman. Uh, very good. Just how many? It's only two and it's a man. Ah, and what does she look like? She's pretty. How would you describe her? She's kind of Fair brown skin. Okay. How tall is she? She's taller than me. <laughs> She's taller than you. And then what about the other one? The gentleman? The gentleman. He's handsome. What is he wearing? I can't see what he's wearing, but he's smiling. Oh, okay. Very good. And how? What is? What? How? What? What? How tall is he? He's a little bit taller than me. Okay. Very good. And uh, uh, first, I'd like to ask them if they have a message for you. If there's anything they'd like to relay to you, either about me, uh, for you, or any message that they would have for you, because. You said that we knew each other and uh, I want to explore that. What's their message to you? I can't hear them. But I see they look moving, but I can't hear them. Ah, oh, very good. And ask them what is their message for me then. You may be able to hear that then.
What is your message for him? Please. Please. What's wrong? I can't hear them. They look so moving. Okay. And look to your auntie. I mean, Nanny. She's still there? No. Oh, Nanny left? Nanny's gone. Okay. Now, I want you to look right beside you, and there's a little desk with a little glass of water on it. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. That water is amazing. Just look at it. Sort of sparkle. When you drink it, it's going to taste so incredibly well. But what it's going to do, it's going to raise your vibration exponentially. I mean, it's going to raise it high. And once it does, you'll be able to communicate with them. I, I think it's beautiful that you can see them, but that'll help you. So go ahead and tell me how it tastes as it's going down. It should be pretty refreshing. Tell me when you finish that. Nice good water. Oh, is it delicious? Yes. Very good. And take that long, slow, deep breath. Inhale, feel the results. Feel yourself getting deeper and deeper, raising the high vibration. Now I'll look at my, my the two. How do they look now? Still smiling? Mm-hmm. Ah, very good. And I just want you to go ahead and make an introduction. Just tell them who you are. Hello, my name is Julie. I'm a heaps old student. <laughs> and what they say? Pleased to meet you. Ah, very good. And you can hear them pretty well now, huh? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And ask them, uh, what message would they have for you? What message would you have for me, please? She may speak first, I'm not sure. What does she say? Or what do they say? They say, little girl, don't worry about a thing. Everything is going to be okay. Remember when God had told you that He got you? Trust Him and believe He do got you. Beautiful. He, he, he said, Go dance. They love to dance. And you will flow like a butterfly. Yeah. Go dance. You're pretty when you dance. Yeah, go dance. So like he's saying, go dance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the guy said, every time you touch on your clients, you will heal them. And the lady keeps saying, go dance. Yeah. Beautiful. These are my uh, guardian angels. Ask them, uh, or actually they're me. Go ahead and ask them, are you guys Hank? Are you guys Hank? <laughs> yes. So Hank has a female and a male counterpart. <laughs> uh, and ask them, do they have any messages for me, please? You have any messages for Hank, please? They say, Hank, you keep doing what you're doing in helping God's people to find their way back home. Both of them said that? Yeah. Home. Why do you keep saying home? Have I helped Julie home? 
She said, yeah. She said, have more to accomplish but home. Where's home? Very good. And uh, uh, I was told in another session that I was supposed to connect with someone in blue and ask them, is that someone on, uh, I think they said, from another dimension. Are they familiar with this blue entity? He was supposed to be connected with somebody in blue. Is it blue in another dimension? You said, I'm the blue. Ah. You already been connected to her. You feel her. You been feeling her. Is this Isabel? Yes. And that's Augustine? Yes. And so, do they remember the session? Well, can I ask, ask them, can I speak to them directly? And you just answer it. Can he speak to you directly? Yes. So in the session where they told me that I needed to speak to the person in blue or someone in blue, was I was trying to find me or I'm supposed to find them can they elaborate on that? Is that them that I'm supposed to find or is it someone else I'm supposed to connect with? Um, uh, just tell me what they said, say. They said the young lady that's in your section now, that's the blue. She said you've been connected to her. You came to her at school in the hallway and told her, release all the anger whoever you was mad at. Ah, oh, very good. Did she receive that? She said, yes, she felt your presence. Ah, oh, very good. She has been angry at someone, hasn't she? She said, yes. Who has she been angry at? Said the world. And she needs to release that, doesn't she? Yes. Because she's in, inadvertently chosen the, the cancer that's in her, said she. Yes. But as soon as she releases that, she's going to release that cancer, isn't she? Yes. And how is it a good idea that I, when I ask her to drink the. Uh, The apple cider vinegar, is that a good suggestion for her? Yes, and she's been doing it. She oh. has slacked off, but been doing it. Very good. And also the deep breathing uh, exercises to keep her blood oxygenated. Is that not? Is that a good uh, advice for her as well? Yes, it has been, but she has not been doing it. But she's going to start doing it from here on out, isn't she? Yes. Very, very good. And I have a friend, you know David, I was in the military with him, and he's going through so much. You've already heard all of our communications. Is there any advice that you could uh, pass on to me that I could pass on to him, something higher than what I can come up with? Obviously. Tell David. that everything is going to be okay. Go ahead and receive it. He's been concerned about his job or his career and not being happy. I know they know that already. But I tell him it's going to be okay. It's really hard for him to take that 
because he feel like he's been in a rut for so long. Tell David, Dot's getting ready to catapult him into a bigger position than where he's at. Tell David he needs to let go and let God take him where he needs him to go. Ah, oh, amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tell David, don't worry. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And, um, Eddie, he, uh, has, he's been told, well, I've been told in the session that he was going to be bringing something forward, some type of healing uh, to the planet. Could they elaborate on anything that I could share with Eddie that will help him as well? Eddie has a calling on his life. Eddie is supposed to be a preacher, a teacher, a prophet. And is he afraid of that? Eddie's running from his calling. And why is he running from his calling? Eddie feels like he's not ready yet. Oh, very good. And um, the message, is it tied to the extraterrestrials? Yes. And uh, what is that message? I mean, you know, they know what I mean by what is the message. Like in a sentence or two. As opposed to it's to, you know. There's the message. It is just need to surrender and do the work for God. Understood. And I has been having lots of uh, dreams about Zoe. Uh, And the last one he had was pretty horrible. What was that dream about for him? With the dog burning. Mm -hmm. Is this where the dog catch on fire? Yes. Is this where the dog had an accident close to Eddie's house? Yeah, but it never actually happened. But he but, said he dreamed about it. But he dreamed that the dog catch on fire? Yes. That means Eddie gonna catch on fire. That means that's the fire that's burning down within Eddie. Oh, very good. So, uh, and that's a loving, uh, high vibrational that fire. A, that is the fire of God. Ah, oh, very good. He is a healer. Eddie is a healer, yes. He is the one who is supposed to be healing the sick. Ah. Uh, and calling out the, the ones that lost. His dog also has the fire. His dog is a paratherapeutic dog. Eddie take the dog to the hospital. He's a nurturing dog. Is that his new dog or is that um is that Mila or would that be Zoe? Mila? That would be both. Uh, so Mila is our new our Eddie's new dog, our new dog. But Eddie dogs are special. Oh, very good. Is that why he's so attached to those dogs? Yes. Oh, very good. What is What can you share with Hank that he doesn't know about himself already? Hank, you're doing everything that God wants you to do. 
You're helping his people. He's proud of that. You came a mighty long way, hey? As a child, a young adult. Even when you hid your sexuality, but you finally came out and still was proud. Hank, you know everything about yourself. You, you're good. You're on the right path. Keep doing it. Stay focused. Very good. You and Eddie will be okay. And what about the, uh, is it the book? The book will be successful. Is there any yes. anything that I need to do in order to help that along? No. You're doing a good job with that book. Nothing to change. You keep doing the way you're doing it. Keep writing. Very good. And you know they want me to go to Sweden next, next, um... You go. Should I go? Yes. You and me. You and me. You and me somebody there. In Sweden? Yes. A mate? Yeah. You mean a lovey mate? No, not a mate. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Just curious. It's a person that needs your help. Oh, okay. Very good. But they need you. So I do need to go ahead and make that trip to Sweden? Yes. Oh, very good. And Sam, Sam and Abraham, when are they going to come back into my life again? Sam Abraham. Who is Sam Abraham? Uh, Sam is the person. Abraham was my neighbor down the street. He was the one who um, was a Mayan from 1648 when we did the session. And uh, in his session, they told him that he and I and this person, Sam, from uh, Michigan, because in the session it said he'd go to Michigan, and he did go to Michigan, and he did meet a Sam, and it was a female, and it said that in 2016, next year, we're all going to get together again. Was that a different timeline than the timeline I'm on now, or? Won't be in this year. This is 2015. It will be next year. So, all we will all get together then. Yes. And this is this before or after Sweden. Just curious. This will be after Sweden. Oh, very good. Very very good. Yeah. I am very grateful. Now you know what my other questions are, and without even having to say them out loud. Uh, should I ask, is it okay for her to hear these and relay these messages, or should I let it go for now? Let it go for now. We will visit you in your dream. Ah, oh, very good. Uh, Okay, here is my last question then, since you said the dreams. They say that I'm having constant contact with these ETs right now, these extra dimensionals, almost nightly. And, uh, but you guys recommended me to wipe my memory. Is that, is that so? Yes. 